Hi, this is Manjit. Uh, this is part of a series on the low altitude economy. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the term low altitude economy, it refers to the economic activities uh, that are taking place, that are happening in the airspace up to 1000 meters and sometimes up to 3000 meters, depending on the application and the region from the ground. And for most of us, this means drones. Uh, UAVs, which are unmanned aerial vehicles, eVTOLs, which are electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, and light helicopters, choppers, and light aircraft. Recently, I visited the 2025 Annual Drone Congress exhibition, where around 850 industry players were showcasing the latest solutions, about 5,000 SKUs, covering an exhibition space of about 66,000 square meters. Low altitude eco economy is an emerging growth sector with four main components. Number one, hardware, which are the aerial platforms. Number two, software, which are like the flight support systems, traffic control systems. Uh, then you have infrastructure, which are like the vertiports, the landing pads, drone stations, so on. And then you have regulations and policy, which covers airspace management, safety certification standards. And then behind it all, you have the support ecosystem like manufacturing, R&D, training, workforce. So there are diverse uses, a uh, myriad of applications on how these technologies are used. Here we are looking at traffic monitoring and control drones. Here we have eVTOL platforms for personal use, urban air mobility and tourism purposes. We have uh, firefighting drones, uh, which can carry payloads, uh, canisters to put out fire. Then we have drones for institutional use, infrastructure use. Uh, we have search and rescue drones, which can carry uh, these kind of payloads uh, for emergency use, rescue purposes. Then we have um, Drones for logistics and transportation, which can carry sizable payloads. And this, uh, this aircraft here bore a striking resemblance to a Sikorsky helicopter. Thought it was pretty interesting. And this is one of the larger UAVs on displays there. Then we have surveillance um, and monitoring uh, UAVs for pipeline monitoring, critical infrastructure monitoring. This was a quick overview. In the future, we'll go into uh, more details on drones and their specific uses.